Hey everybody, this is Dave Bursu. Join me this summer, I'm gonna be driving across the country pursuing my two favorite things. The two things I'm most passionate about, baseball and comedy. Gonna be going to ballparks all around the country and performing at clubs all around the country. And the cool thing is this, I'm gonna be doing it with other comedians and I'm looking for the best fans too. I wanna to talk to you guys and find out what your passion is. Find out why you love the game. So join me this summer. Look for us to come to a city near you. Fresno, right? Anybody here from you know Fresno? Oh, yeah. oh, we got a bad reputation for all kinds of stuff. Fresno's a bad reputation. We're number one in DUIs, murders per capita, number one in car theft. And just last uh, last month, our deputy police chief got sentenced for dealing drugs. No, dealing heroin. He got sentenced for that. And dealing pot and everything else like that. You guys are like, oh my god, I was freaking pissed. He was my best connection. <laughs> Okay, here we are back in San Francisco, where it all started. June 4th, my daughter and I came out of the water right here. We swam from Alcatraz to shore in the Shark Fest swim, a mile and a half swim. And that basically started off the whole uh, program of what we were doing for Touch Em All, because not only did we go to the baseball games, but we did some swimming stuff. So I wanted to come out here and check out, we're at Aquatic uh, Park in San Francisco, right in front of the Maritime Museum. And this is where everything started. This is what all, you know, this was just a blast to come in and swim from there to here, just to say that you did it. It's just a one-time thing. So we're gonna go out and look at a little bit about the swim, and then we're gonna go over and uh, see some of the sights in the city. And then we're going to the Giants game today, okay? Very fitting that the first game that we filmed, the first episode of the season, was at Dodger Stadium where I went to my very first baseball game as a kid and that the last game of the season, or the last episode of the season, is gonna be at AT&T, my team, the Giants, okay? Hopefully the Giants can win one today because <laughs> I've seen the Giants in four different ballparks this summer and uh, they've lost four times. So it'd be really nice if you guys could win one today for us just to end on a happy note. So with that, let's go out and check out some stuff here in San Francisco. So we're out here, fog's coming in, but they dropped us off on the east side of the island. And then here's the wild thing, because of the currents in San Francisco Bay, they timed it where we started at a slack tide, then it was an ebb tide going out. So we had to shoot, see where this pier is? All the way out there, but no, past that, we were shooting for that frigate on the other side of that warehouse. We're swimming that direction, and all of a sudden, boom, you started coming this way. And once I hit this, because I'm telling you, I mean, I'm, I can swim, but this is for real swimmers, okay? I was a baseball player. Once you made this turn in, then you knew everything was gonna be all right. I'm so glad I did that with my daughter. That was the coolest father-daughter thing that I could think of. She's a swimmer and she kicked my butt. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, she wants to do it again next year. I'm thinking, you know what? Most bucket list items are a one-time thing. I'm good. The cool thing about being down here, like you go into Giordelli and you and you, you can watch the chocolates, like Charlie's Chocolate Factory, and they give you chocolate. <laughs> And then you got Skomas down here and a couple other really good restaurants. But for the most part, Fisherman's Wharf is just nothing but tourist attractions. One thing I will recommend, if you, if you haven't been to San Francisco, go to the Buena Vista and get an Irish coffee at the Buena Vista. It's world famous and they're great. All right, here we are in front of the Willie Mays statue. We are at game number, oh God, I guess this is number 23 this season, but one of the ballparks we started the season at and we're also gonna end at it, um, AT&T Ballpark, okay? Giants, my favorite team. See the Giants 
all around the country this summer. They haven't won one yet. Hopefully it'll change today. Anyway, got the Giants, got everything going on, man. It's the Giants and the Rockies today on Touch Em All Comedy and Baseball Tours. We are here with Kenny the Clown, man. And Kenny, tell us a little bit how long you've been hanging out here and doing this at the Giants game. Man, I've been working the Giants game for about five years. Right on. I'd like to tell people we have a silly little clown show for big people like you. There we go. And you. And you, boy. Do you do this for the Giants or do you do this no, for No, 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 that's for me. That's this is all for you. All for me. Okay, how many games do you make it out of you? I'd say, well, I probably only missed 10 or 11 games. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, my motto is we take being silly very seriously. Obviously, obviously. So that's well, it's a fun. It's a funny business. Absolutely. But, absolutely. No, laughing, but no laughing matter. No, 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 no. Uh, this, this guy's a pun a minute. He's a funny no, guy. No, please, 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 don't, yeah. stop, don't. <laughs> Stop. I usually go, come about two hours before the game wow. and about 30, 40 minutes after the game. All right, and then, and then after that we can find you sitting at one bar. <laughs> oh, what <one> bar? <laughs> All over town. Diehard Giant fan since 1958. I was at Seal Stadium watching the Giants play. Oh, okay. You, I think box seats were like 250. We went to a lot of Giant games. You could get a hot dog and a Coke at Seal Stadium for 90 cents. And you know when you're a kid this big and Willie Mays is out there in the yeah. green grass? Oh yeah. It was like the best hot dog in the world. I saw Roberto Clemente, you know. Oh, I mean, all the great players. Yeah. I mean, like I tell people, I'm old. You know, you heard this, this thing about, I'm old when I got to see all the great bands. Right. Well, I'm old and I got to see all the great players. All five of the Hall of Famers that you see around this ballpark and statues, I saw them in their prime. Seen watched on TV or listened to on the radio, probably over 6,500 of those games. The year I was in uh, Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War, my wife kept score of most of the games and sent them to me over there. Every, every giant game is a good game, win or lose. I mean, how can you beat the atmosphere, the people, the food? Uh, I, like, I tell people that this ballpark is better than Disneyland. 
To me it is. Yeah, I'd rather be here than just about any place. Mark Allison, uh, I'm from Missouri, uh, traveling around all the stadiums to see them all that I have now. I've been about 14 different stadiums uh, across. So the reason I love it, I, I love baseball. Baseball is my passion. I'm a, I'm a Cardinals fan by trade. Uh, here we're in San Francisco. Uh, Cardinals fans don't typically care for San Francisco fans because they beat us several times yeah, in the playoffs. Times there, yeah, it's a little bitter, a little bitter. Yeah. Uh, but if you go further south in Los Angeles, uh, they hate us. So I like it a little further down there. Um, but no, I, I, I just enjoy going to baseball parks and I graded on several different uh, things. I graded on atmosphere at the ballpark, the beers that are available in the ballpark, the food that's available in the ballpark, and then finally, everything that's around the ballpark outside of it. What is the community like outside of it? What is the support staff? What do we got like as far as bars and places like that outside of the stadium before you go to the game and after the game? Is it things I like to look for? hat on oh. and this hat looks like it's seen some games yes man. you know going to different ballparks and just collecting and first time ever for like the world series nice uh timmy lincecum's no hitter in san diego i was you were there at that that was my first ever one and i was 65 years old then wow i still haven't seen one yes and so you know just a lot of memories i was just looking at the 2018 schedule and i go okay my choice is Washington. That's a nice ballpark. Or Houston. That's a nice or ballpark. Or Cincinnati. That's another because nice Because we ballpark. try to do different ballparks every right. year. Me and my son, it's a father-son deal. Awesome. And he's 44. Okay. And we've done 13 stadiums in okay. the last six With the years. Giants on all of them? Uh, the first two years we did without the Giants, but okay. now we're following nothing but where the Giants go. I love the pace of baseball and the humanity of it. And one of my favorite games was we were sitting a few rows behind fans of the other team and we were throwing peanuts at, no, they were throwing peanuts at us. And they, uh, they noticed we didn't have any peanuts to throw to them. So they came up and gave us a handful of peanuts so that we could throw them back after they were throwing peanuts at us. Uh, the first time I ever sat down along the first baseline, I learned that the, when the away team dugout starts throwing the ball back and forth, all those season ticket holders down along the first baseline will go Ooh. every time that, and, and it was just this whole thing that I realized probably been going on for years, you would never know if you never sat down there along the first baseline. Probably my best memory was uh, seeing Barry Bonds hit a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth when they were down a couple of runs. Well, the craziest thing would be my dad, my buddy, my buddy came home from the water. He was a, he was a San Francisco police officer. He was out on disability with a heart attack. In the day game, he took all of the, the nephews there and, 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 and his kids, and there's some nut job jumps on the field and he's all drunk out of his mind. They can't get him, and Bill says, fuck it, I'm going to go do something about this. And he runs on the field, and he tackles a guy at home plate. 
they, they cut the guy, shows his identification, and the way home he tells all the kids, hey, don't say a word to your mother or your aunt, because I'm out on disability. No problem, Dad, no problem. So back in the day, they had the, the examiner with an afternoon paper that chronicles the morning paper. Guess who's on the front page of the afternoon chronicle? Off-duty police, police officer arrested two and This is Logan that's in the living room. How's the game, dear? With his picture on the front of the newspaper. He goes, oh, I guess I'm ready, ready to go back to work. Yes, I guess you are. I remember the last game we played in the Polo Grounds. Uh, polo Grounds was 500 feet dead center field. Uh, and then you went up stairs on both sides of the two clubhouses. Uh, and I can recall that we went up to the right-hand side with the Dodgers, or with the Giants, the Dodgers were on the left-hand side. And as we got near the top, there were people there with signs that playing, please don't go. Well, it had already been determined two months before that that we, we were gonna go. But they were screaming and yelling, please don't go, please don't go. Well, that, that's the last thing I remember about the Polo Grounds. In about, must have been around December, I got a letter from the Red Sox saying they would like me to come back for the 100th anniversary of the first ball game in 1912. And I said, well, that's wonderful. I really felt very proud that they're going, to, they're going to invite me by myself. And then I found out when after I called them, they said, how did you select the numbers of players you're going to go back in? They said, we sent letters to everybody. Well, that kind of blew me out of the water. Uh, but at the same time, we went back and they had 98 players that come on in. Uh, there were some players I'd played against, uh, players some I played with. Frankie Malzon was there, and Yastrzemski, of course, and Kinnickler wasn't there. He got hit in the eye already at that point. Uh, but anyway, we played a ball game, and the Red Sox and the Yankees played in their 1912 uniforms, which was very, very strange. Uh, and it was a good ball game. What's it like going to a ball game now? I just, I just appreciate the ballparks. And, and did you hear Manny Pacquiao bought the Dodgers? And he's moving them to the Philippines? And he's going to call them the Manila Folders? <laughs> and you know the difference between a giant dog and a Dodger dog? What's that? They don't sell Dodger dogs at World Series games.